Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. This is the Stamina In Motion E1000 elliptical exercise machine. And let's see what it says on the box here. Low impact elliptical motion. Adjustable tension to control workout intensity level. Foot pedals can be worked in a forward or reverse direction to target your lower body in different ways. Electronic fitness monitor displays a number of strides per minute, total number of strides, exercise time, and calories burned, or scan all stats. Sturdy steel construction, non-slip pedals. So, okay. Well packed with styrofoam, and here's the instruction manual, owner's manual. Basically, you just lift it out. Looks like there's some assembly. Get this out of the box. Uh, it is a heavy unit. I might have to just tip it out of the box. So it does say this weighs 24 pounds. So I can slide it out. Okay, so there's the base that fell out, so that's one of the pieces you need to assemble. Take some base plate here. Base board. Let's take the sparrows on up. Right side up. You have to put the pedals on, of course. So there's the parts and the owner's manual. Let's open this up. So, if we look in here, it's basically what we have to do we have to put the base plate on there and the what are they calling that? Rear stabilizer this here, so the base plate, rear stabilizer, and the two pedals. There's the hardware, assembly instructions, looks easy enough. Equipment mat. Hmm, seems like we need an equipment mat. Interesting. Well, let me put this together. So there's not too much hardware. These main bolts here probably go to that uh, stabilizer. And they have these tools in here to help you put it together. Each in its own little compartment. I think I put the stabilizer on first. Looks like 
put these two bolts here are going to fit into those two squared holes right there. I didn't think about that 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 mat. Probably would damage your wood floor with those wheels constantly moving across. Then so here are the two bolts for this rear stabilizer. And here. So you can see there are feet here, so those go down, and the labels, of course, are going to face up. I don't think there's a left and a right on this. It just sits on top of there. And you put the bolts in from underneath. That's one. And they have the nylon washers, so it stays secure once it's tightened. they give you. So they give you this wrench. And then you tighten them. So I did take the stabilizer off, um, you know, it really doesn't matter, it's just probably aesthetics. But they do have a picture here that shows this label on the right hand side on the rear stabilizer. So this is the, the back and this is the front with the little readout on there. So I've got the rear stabilizer on, I need to put the front uh, the plate on which is another two bolts. That's this part here. And there seems to be some uh, pad, probably for non-skid rubber on the bottom here. So this goes in the front. So this goes under here. Looks like the wheels that's kind of odd. So the wheels are actually going to roll on this plate, I guess. So if I tilt this up and put this plate We'll go
So I have it standing on end. And then I just need to put in these two screws here, looks like, with two rubber washers. And the remaining four. So these are the two for the base plate here. Calling it the base board. So the base board. These two screws and the Allen wrench. The Allen wrench. That started, and then this one. Just tighten these up snug. the base plate which I think I messed up because these wheels have to be on the other side of the base plate unless let's see nope so you have to make sure that the pedals are positioned correctly I don't need to read no stinking instructions. So let's take this out. And this out. So make sure that these are up facing the back because they sit and it doesn't look like it could be, I find out later on. But it didn't seem like any angles were possible to get this back on the other side, on the right side of the base plate, without removing this again. Snug. And now I can tip this back down and you can see the wheels actually move back and forth on the plate. So there's the action. It's actually pretty good action there. Nice and smooth. Pretty solid motion. So all I have to do now is put these pedals on. Looks like there's only one way they can go on. I keep on re have to remind myself that this is the front of the unit and this is the back here. These pe pedals didn't look right for a second. So put these four screws in. Or four bolts actually. Pretty hefty. So that wasn't difficult. And I didn't even read the instructions.
So that's it. That's the Stamina in Motion E1000 all assembled. And that's the motion. Now if I was to stand on this without breaking my neck, let's see if I turn this around. This is the tension bar. This is the device that keeps track of calories and uh, time. So that's what it looks like. Seems like it's pretty steady. Yeah, this, <laughs> this probably would take some use to. It's like just jumping quickly onto a skateboard. Now the front bar looks a little crooked, so I might have to straighten that out. Let me just straighten this out. Okay, so let's let's see if I can stand on this without breaking my neck. This is not advised because I believe I don't know what it would attach somehow on the front here. This is comes with a, a bar you can hold on to. But okay, so this is the motion. It seems like this would be pretty good for just sitting down. So let me get a chair. Move this junk out of the way. So again, purchase this for someone in, the, in a wheelchair, hoping that this will be able to use this to burn calories or get some exercise. This looks like it's doable. Bring this in closer. There's the motion. So when I was sitting down it seems uh, the feet, the, the footrests were tilted in an awkward direction. But you're actually supposed to turn this around uh, differently than when you just stand on it. When you stand on it, because I'm looking at this uh, calorie or the, 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 the display here, it's facing the rear stabilizer bar which seems correct but this is an awkward angle for the feet as you can see your feet go up in the air and you're really not going to keep uh, the bottom of your foot pressed down on the pedal because it's just too flat well you're, you're supposed to turn it around when you're using it in the seated position when you're not standing on it. You're supposed to turn it around like this, but the display is facing the wrong way. Well, they, they account for that. You just pick it up and turn it and reseat it. So it has a little bit of a cable here. So if you're going to be using it, using this device while seated, you can turn that around and then you get a com more comfortable motion with these pedals. So you're able to keep your foot flat on the pedals. So they've accounted for that for making this uh, so you can just pull it out. There's two indents here so you can bring your uh, fingers in underneath the lip of the display here. So that's pretty good. So, so far it says I've burned seven calories. Turn this around. Let me turn the camera around so you can see what I'm talking about. So you can see here Let's see what we have. We have count 
if you can see that count, time, calories, and distance. And I guess it's an easy process to remove. It's just a small like watch battery underneath there. And that's it. And it does have some weight to it. It's a pretty sturdy unit. Weighs 24 pounds, pretty solid. It's a nice pedal motion. Again, this is the tension adjust mechanism, the little, little knob there. I can feel that, it's sort of like a brake. Yeah. Can't even turn it there. So you can hear it. Sort of resistance tension. I think that's the only, only way to actually do that. I don't know how else you would put tension on the moving mechanism. There must be some belt in there that is rubbing against the wheel. So I've gone point, is that point 0.5 miles maybe? Count, time, calories, 22 calories. So I'm hoping this is going to be useful for an individual who has suffered a stroke and Hopefully this will help uh, with some calories and some exercise while positioned in a wheelchair. And uh, paralysis on the right hand side, on the right leg. So this is the unboxing and assembly of the Stamina In Motion E1000. Seems like a pretty solid machine. And you can use this either standing up or sitting down, as they show here. And you position it differently whether you're going to be standing on it or whether you're going to be sitting while using it. Pretty straightforward assembly, not too many parts. Again, Stamina In Motion E1000. I hope you found this video interesting. Feel free to like, subscribe, and or comment, and thanks for watching.